All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Three. What's going on, everyone? Ancap24 here from Huddle.gg. And in today's video, we're going to show you a really nice uh, zone coverage beater out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell notification to make sure you never miss any of our uploads. Now, this video is inspired by Aaron McGuire. He asked to see some zone beaters out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. He said, thank you as always for your good videos. So we're going to be looking at this play called uh, Double Post at a Gun Open Flex. I'm going to show you how this beats all zones and has a cherry on top of beating cover two over the top. So let's go take a look at it. And what you're going to see here is that you've got a unique uh, route by the tight end, which is in the A position, and you've got a nice deep post by the B, and we're gonna use those two to our advantage, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna block a running back for extra protection. We're gonna put the X on a slant, and then what I like to do with this RB receiver is I like to hitch him, and then I like to smart route the hitch. And what I've found out with this is it really does a good job of holding the zones a little bit more for me. You can do, you can get away with a curl, you can get away with the hitch, but when you do it in between, I just, there's more consistency, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it as is, and I'm gonna show you how this works with this X receiver against cover two. What you're gonna see is the A is going to drive back coverages, X is gonna get open on the sidelines, and you're gonna have an easy catch over there, okay? Now, it does take a while to get there, so I'm gonna show you the next thing what you wanna do. All right, you can have another option here where you can go ahead and take this guy and just move him in. All right, it's going to do a little bit more telling if you keep on running this play, but it's going to give you a little bit more option to get that player over there quicker. So that way you don't have to worry about as much of a thing. You can see that we're going to throw this ball over here and you're going to get yourself an easy catch on the sidelines. All right, now this works against all zone coverages. So I'm going to go ahead and show you cover three now. Okay, so that was against cover two. Here's against cover three. You're going to do the same exact thing. Move this guy over. And then what you're going to do again is put this RB on a smart routed hitch. And what you're going to see is that the A is going to drive back the curl flat, turning everybody, putting this guy right here, and you're going to get yourself an easy catch, right? A really nice zone beater. It's going to basically have people match on this tight end wheel. We'll do it one more time here with cover four drop. So you can see that the same thing. Now this is gonna be working when people are not doing uh, protect the sticks and they're not going to be doing um, any zone drop coverages. So when they do that, it's, gonna, it's going to cancel out the matching. When you leave them the same, like they're running stock cover three, stock cover four, drop show two, stock cover two, where they're not changing up their um, zone depths, this is where this is gonna work. And you can see how this is gonna be a really nice play against cover four as well. Now the cherry on top, is the fact that we could beat cover two over the top, okay? So here's cover two. And what we're gonna do is the same exact design that we've been doing, but we're going to just wait a half a second longer and let's take a look at this B receiver, okay? So I can move this guy in and let's go ahead and watch this. So you've got a two-way option. You're still gonna have the X, right? We're gonna roll out to the X. Now we're gonna wait for the B and you're gonna be able to throw this ball over the top. I totally made that you know uh, animation way worse than it should have been because I didn't settle my feet. Let's try this again. Uh, but you can see how open he's gonna be. This play right here is kind of a nightmare because if you get people having to play the um, slant, what you're gonna end up seeing is that you're gonna be able to get the guy over the top, all right? So we're gonna go this way, watch for this B. We're gonna throw this ball over the top to him and we're gonna split the safeties and have an easy one play score. Now, obviously, if they put somebody in a deep blue, that's not going to work. Um, this is going to be against stock cover two, where they leave the mid read in the play. But a lot of times they're going to not really feel like they're going to get beat over the top because everything goes to the right. Now, there is another way to run this. And I just want to make sure that I show you this just to kind of mix it up. You can just move the A over, put the X on a slant and put the RB on um, the smart red hitch. This is going to give you the same results. It's just going to be from a different alignment. So that way you can kind of run it and show people that you're running it differently. So that's one way to do it. And the last way we can do it is basically, um, so we've motioned over the um, the A, right? And then we've done the, the ability to motion over the X. Um, so that's those are the two ways that you're going to be able to kind of change this up to make sure that you're going to get that same type of look. And the last way is just a quick snap it, right? The quick snap it means that you don't have to move the X over. We kind of showed you that in the beginning, but you're gonna see that um, it's gonna be the same thing where you're gonna be able to hit this player. Now, the, the problem with this one again is it takes longer, right? The longer it takes, 
the more you have to worry about your um, your your uh, your pass protection. So this is my favorite. That's why I kind of led with it, just because it gives you a little bit more options when it comes to um, being quicker out of it. And you can see that the X is just going to absolutely torch coverages, all of them on the right sideline. Easy zone beater, easy way to you know make sure you know if you know that they're not doing zone drops, be be able to kind of you know, kill them. Now, if they are doing things like protect the sticks, all that's going to do or zone drops is allow for a little bit more consistency where you can go ahead now and start looking at hitting the the wheel, right? Because the wheel, what's going to do is it's going to go up the field, and you're going to see that he's going to be in this little spot over here that. When they do zone drops, they're going to set them at 10, 15, whatever. They're going to stop at that spot. So that zone wheel is going to be the one that you're going to want to look at when you start seeing people that are doing zone drops and they're not matching. Just look at the wheel and let the wheel keep on going, going, going. And once their zone stops, you're going to be able to hit the wheel. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for um, giving suggestions. Make sure you continue to do so. Um, that way it gives us an opportunity to kind of feature you on videos. Appreciate you, Aaron, for giving us the suggestion. If there's anyone else that has any suggestions, put it in there. Well, we can definitely look through them, kind of do a grab bag style, and hopefully yours will be the next one that we pick so we can help you and everyone else that may have the same question. Appreciate it, and we'll catch you on tomorrow's video.